back to my channel. Today I have a monthly May message for you for all of the Tauruses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Taurus out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. For those of you that are new, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen. I'm a spiritual advisor, intuitive coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every week right here on this channel. Without further ado, let's get into your message, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, this is going to be your monthly May message. I do want you to know that this is going to be a nine card draw. Um, I am, however, doing this reading a little bit different than any other previous messages you might have seen on my channel. Um, this particular monthly spread is a monthly spread that I do for myself every month and I actually enjoy it and wanted to share it with you because it does provide me with a little bit more insight and it has specific questions um, with each specific card placement. So let's see what Spirit wants and needs you to know this up this month of May. Um, for your further growth and evolution and what you need to be aware of, what you need to avoid, what obstacles you might potentially face, and um, what you need to embrace this month. Okay. All right, so far so good. If we need to clarify, I am gonna use another deck to clarify any cards that are already on the table. All right, two more and we should be ready to go. Oops, that Ace of Swords almost wanted to pop out. Okay, last card. All right. All right, Taurus, let's get right into it. So your first card in its first position, the question is, where am I currently? So currently right now, you are in the devil position. Um, you are in the devil energy, but it is in reverse. So this is a good sign, um, Taurus. I don't want you to freak out because it is the devil energy. Um, the devil in reverse usually signifies that things are getting better. You are getting out of this uh, state of being restricted, of being confined. Um, you're getting out of the state of sabotage, self-sabotage. Um, you're not feeling as bound or restricted as you once were. I love seeing the devil energy um, upside down because that does signify to me that you have sort of come to this awakening that you recognize and understand that the type of energy that you were in was really that of an illusion. And it was really you preventing yourself from really moving um, in the direction that you wanted to go. Um, so whatever circumstances you might have been in, Taurus, uh, recognize that um, you are now moving out of this devil energy. And I absolutely love that because the theme that you have for this month is the sun. And I absolutely love this. I love seeing the sun right after the devil energy um, because, you know, as I mentioned, you're currently in this, this state where um, things are slowly starting to sort of make sense to you. You're coming out of this sense of restriction. Your theme this month is really going to be based around the things that bring you joy, the things that make you happy, and the things um, you're going to be healing a lot of old wounds. I really feel that it's going to be wounds from your past, um, like your inner child, that you're going to be healing um, and it's going to be very important for you this month, Taurus, that you really focus on the things that bring you joy and that make you really happy. Um, I think that by coming out of this devil energy, you're really going to be focusing on the things that make you the happiest. And you're really going to allow yourself to really feel life bloom before you. And that's what I really love to see. What you accomplish this month is the Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands speaks about a new journey, a new adventure. And I sort of really view this as um, you sort of taking into account that there are certain things that you've already accomplished, but now you have this desire to want to accomplish things, um, accomplish different things, whether that's, you know, going on a trip, whether that's travel, whether that's 
you know, visiting abroad, whatever it might be, you, you have this desire um, and this passion to do things differently and to move in a very different direction than you would normally do. Um, that is what you're going to accomplish this month. I really feel like you're going to be taking, um, like you're going to be evaluating your life up until this point, And you're now going to sort of focus on the things that you want to focus on. Almost like you've been putting your life on hold and now it's really about you focusing on you. That's really what I'm feeling here. What you need to avoid this month, we have the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is really a card about rest and reflection for me um, because I really feel that what you really need to avoid is um, don't procrastinate. It's interesting that the Four of Swords is here, um, but I'm really feeling that, you know, because the Four of Swords is in the upright position, it's really about resting and reflecting. But what I'm really hearing is don't procrastinate. So let me go ahead and get a clarifier for this Four of Swords. Spirit, why is this Four of Swords here? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. All right, so the clarifier is the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning. So yeah, so my message of don't procrastinate, um, whenever you have an idea, because you're what you're accomplishing this month is this Two of Wands, um, it's really about going on a new adventure and a new journey. And this Ace of Wands is gonna be an opportunity that is gonna be presented to you to go on a new adventure, whether that's to travel somewhere or whether that's doing something different than you normally would not do. Um, don't procrastinate on making that decision. Really allow, recognize that you're in a new phase, you're moving in a new direction, and it's really about choosing you, okay? That's what I'm really hearing here with this Four of Swords. Now, what you need to embrace this month. Now, this is really interesting because what you're embracing this month is the Tower energy. And the Tower energy is finding the light within the dark. The Tower is really about an ending, something coming to an end. And I really feel that because you've started out in the devil energy where things are sort of starting to um, ease up on you and you're not feeling so confined and so restricted and you're really transitioning into this new phase of life, into this new journey that you are about to embark upon, the thing that you really need to embrace is that no matter what happens, no matter what occurs, whatever situations or obstacles you might face, recognize that there is light within that. So there is always light within the chaos. What I love about the tower is that lightning strikes the tower, right? And ultimately you have a choice. In, in any type of decision that occurs in life, you always have a choice. What I love about this visualization of the tower is that you see all these butterflies, right? And all of these butterflies um, sort of represent transformation. When certain things occur in our lives, they sort of catapult us into transforming into a different state of being. We transform into doing something that we ultimately would have never done had we not had that particular experience. And I often look at the tower as divine intervention. So what you need to embrace this month is no matter what circumstances, no matter what thing, what situations occur this month in May, Taurus, it's going to be really important for you to seek the light within the darkness, okay? Now, well, the obstacle that you are going to face here is the Nine of Pentacles. So this does strike me a little bit strange um, because normally the Nine of Pentacles is really about being grateful and appreciative for the things that you've accomplished. Um, I'm going to get a clarifier on this, but what I really feel this is saying is that you have now come to a point in your life where the things that you have accomplished are now ending, right? So honor the things that you have accomplished um, up until the point where you're at. But now recognize that all of those accomplishments do not, um, because you're transitioning into something new and starting over, it doesn't mean that you have failed, right? Like, so if, if you have something that still isn't accomplished or you're not at the level that you would want to be in that past version of your life, it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just means that you need to um, embrace new change and recognize 
that this change, um, all of the experiences from your past and the accomplishments that you've achieved are going to help you become that much more successful in a new journey. So angels, please help me clarify this nine of pentacles. Why is this nine of pentacles here? Why is this nine of pentacles here for Taurus? Why is this nine of pentacles here for Taurus? Why is this nine of pentacles here for Taurus? Whoa, okay. We have the king of pentacles. Okay, so beautiful. That's exactly what I what I was just what I just said. So the king of pentacles here is someone that is very abundant. So this is a, um, a very prosperous, abundant individual who has more than enough wealth to share, okay? And what this is really trying to say here that the obstacle you're gonna face is recognizing that your past experiences did prepare you for this new adventure you are about to embark upon. Recognize that you have all of the resources that you need to embark on this new journey, in this new path, in this new direction. That, you know, everything that you have accomplished so far is all of the skills, all of the talents, everything that you've acquired from those past accomplishments are going to help you build that much bigger of an empire the further you go along in this new journey, okay? So what is the support that you have this month? The support that you have is justice. And I absolutely love this because justice here talks about everything being in balance. It's really about aligning with your truth. And I feel that this new direction that you are moving here, Taurus, is really helping you align to that of your highest good. You aligning to your divine essence and recognizing that you would rather be in the light than in the dark. So you're not very, you're not being very judgmental. You're just allowing things to be. Um, and you are recognizing that you have just that much, um, you are just as much a cause of, of, of how things play out than anybody else. And so I absolutely love seeing this. So the support that you have this month is, is really, um, you have spirit on your side that is really letting you know everything is moving along the way that it should. And um, everything is balanced out. Like in your perspective, it might feel like things are off balance, but spirit is just wanting you to know that everything is in balance. Everything is as it should be in exactly the moment that it should be in. So just keep that in mind, okay? The action this month, you have temperance here in reverse, okay? So your action this month, I really feel is about um, waiting. I really feel that it's about <sighs> recognizing that there is a time and a place for everything. Um, I do want to clarify it though, because I really want to make sure that I'm getting the right message here, Taurus. So why is temperance here in reverse spirit? Why is temperance here in reverse for Taurus? Why is temperance here in reverse for Taurus? Okay. So I have the five of wands, which often signifies to me um conflict training maybe you're learning something new okay okay one more clarifier please for this temperance in reverse and um, thank you okay i want to just make yep okay hold on okay so i have the seven of cups here okay so what this what this temperance here is, is representing for you here, this temperance. So this is the action, okay? The action you need to take this month is clearly making a choice, but recognizing, okay? With this five of wands, this is conflicting energy, okay? I really feel that this is conflicting energy with yourself, not with other individuals. I really feel that it's, it's really like the naysayer in your mind, where you are second guessing everything, you're over analyzing everything and you have that conflicting energy where you wanna move in this new direction, but then you're also playing the what if game in your mind about everything else. And that conflicting energy is making you very confused here with this seven of cups about which direction to go in. Um, and so 
the action that you really need to take here is trust your intuition. Again, remember that the support that you have is justice. And the support here says that although things may look like they are not imbalanced and they are not the way that they should be, remember that they are, okay? Because the advice and the encouragement that you have from spirit here is the world. And this world represents a completion. What, one, what once was for you, Taurus, has now come to an end. This, this world card here, the advice from spirit is basically letting you know that the old cycle of who you were in this devil energy is now over. And it's now time for you to move into a new adventure in a new direction with this two of wands. It's really about you remembering that you are embracing change, right? No matter how difficult or how odd that change might be, it's really about you embracing that change and making a choice to move in that direction because you are rising above any circumstance and this current cycle that you are in is now coming to an end. So that is what the Tarot has for you this month, Taurus. Um, I am going to draw an additional Oracle card from a new Colette Baron Reed deck that I have called The Shaman's Dream. We will be reading from the book since it is fairly new. And I can tell you that from all of the other readings that I've, that I've done and the cards that I've pulled from this amazing, beautiful deck, they have been so on point that um, it has literally blown me away. So let's get some additional insight here, Taurus. So what additional information and insight can you offer Taurus this month, Spirit? What additional information can you offer Taurus this month? What additional information can you offer Taurus this month? What additional information can you offer Taurus this month? Whoa, okay. All right. Ah, oh, I love it. This is what I mean by it's always on point. We have fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. Okay, so let's read. This is number 23. 23 reduces to a five, which is about change. Okay, so let's read what this card says. All right, so here we go, Taurus. So fortune's wheel, luck and right timing, a turn of fortune. The fortune's wheel is a sign that luck has found the right timing in your life. You have the magic touch and everything turns to gold. There is nothing you can do wrong. You only need to hold what you desire as your intention and it becomes true. Do not waste this power on trifling things. Dream big, for surely this opportune moment will pass. Such is the nature of fortune's wheel. Use the creative power of the fortune's wheel for the benefit of others, and the gifts will be returned to you tenfold. Use it only for your own gain, and you will be left impoverished and with the bitter taste of squandered opportunity. Fortune's wheel comes unannounced. Notice the early signs, the coincidental encounters, and the seemingly magical and synchronous, synchronous events that, healed, that herald its arrival. That call, that email, that invitation, that chance encounter was no accident. They are all choreographed by fortune. Do not wait any longer. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Do not wait any longer. Remember what I said, what the action this month was. Don't wait. Make a choice. You're going to have to really make a choice to move in this new direction. Okay, do not wait any longer. Carpe diem. Recall your boldest and noblest longing and invite it into your life. This invitation is all that is required. Taurus, I cannot... Um, this is like, I literally meant what I said about these cards. Everything, um, spirit always does the talking in my readings and I always allow spirit to come through the way that it's meant to come through. Um, this message is, remember I said you are starting out in the devil, which you're, you're recognizing that you're not as restricted as you once thought. The illusion of being restricted or bound um, is, is leaving you. 
what you need to em uh, embrace this month is really embracing um, the change, um, allowing yourself to end whatever um, has been holding you back. And it's really about you making a choice, choosing yourself above everyone else and um, following the heart, following your heart. Like your, your heart is desiring a new change. That is really what you are trying to accomplish here. Your theme this month is about finding your joy and your happiness here. So um, that is the message I have for you this month, Taurus. I thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to your next message. Um, the next time we, we speak. So thank you so much for joining me. Namaste, guys.